Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today you join me at Aston Barclay Westbury where I've come to try and buy a few bits for the forecourt. But I haven't come alone, I've actually got James from Chops Garage with me. I There's did. also a uh, V8 here that I've previously sold, which is interesting. It'd be interesting to go and have a look at it again. I wonder if it's still got a fair amount of plates on it. Yeah, that'd be out. interesting. Let's, uh, let's wander around and we see. We have got uh, permission by the way to do this, haven't we? We have, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go and have a look at my uh, old Audi S5 and see if it's still got the bare motors plates on it. There they are, look. So this is an auto. And this one had a standard exhaust. We had one at the same time as this, a black one, that had an aftermarket exhaust. It was ridiculous and raucous. This one still sounds good, but it wasn't as loud as the other one. This was quite a nice thing. We had issues with the headlights. We, Always with these Audi A5s and S5s and whatever, we seem to have issues with the headlights. They got like ballast controls and whatever. We did get it sorted in the end. I think we had the wheels refurbished into this kind of like dark grey colour. I think they were black and quite good. Do something a bit different. And they may as well be black in here, to be fair. These are cool cars, but definitely gone off of them. I always find. Maybe because I've got the slightly older ones, they're just a bit loose and rattly and not the most pleasant thing to drive. And this has gone to the Carbine Group with no service history. I'm pretty sure I had service history when we sold it. Interesting. It's funny, you're in the game long enough and eventually you'll start seeing some of your old stock going through the auctions again. I suppose it must have happened before. Well, we saw the uh, Jaguar, Toby put that video up here, going through the auctions as well. It's the first time I've seen it in person though. Especially being like an hour and a half away from home. I wonder how that's going to sound. Whether it's got a knocking engine or something now. Let's wander out this way and see my old S5. I've talked myself out of buying it back. Is it a barrel plate on the front? Yeah. Still sounds good, but it's getting into that territory now of what we say in 111,000 miles, where it's more the gearbox that worries me than the engine. This is exactly the sort of stuff that I would have bought before, obviously, as I've sold it before. I really need to make an effort to uh, avoid. Before we see how much this car makes, let's do our quick vehicle score check and see how it's scoring. There's anything we should know about it. So it's only scoring 341 out of 999, which isn't great. So let's find out why. Good parts, recent MOT pass rate's high, average yearly mileage is perfect, over 10 comments on recent MOTs, over two failed comments on recent MOTs, vehicles over 10 years old, and mileage is above 100,000. So it's not taxed, unsurprising, but it has got an MOT for 204 days. We've got loads of information on here. We can find out the horsepower, all that sort of stuff. We can look at the MOT history. We can look at common problems, future value estimator. If someone has done a paid report on this in the past, it's over 20 days old, we could see that. If we were selling it, we can put a banner on. And if we need it, you've got an AI mechanic, so you could ask it problem, put a fault code in here, and it would give you some information on what you need to do. And most importantly, if you were gonna buy this privately or from a garage, you can do one of the reports, and I recommend the Ultimate Report Plus. It gives you £10,000 worth of data guarantee. And if you input my code, shifting metal 20 you will get 20% off, making it just £9.58. We can even find out its ULED status. So you could buy yourself a nice 4.2 V8 and bomb around London, no charges whatsoever, because it's petrol. That makes sense, doesn't it? How did your car go? Did you see your own car go? Yeah, it did, yeah. It was it went cheap, about 3,100 quid. And what did you sell it for? Do you remember what you sold it for? Nine grand. Ooh. Maybe and last year. How long ago was that? Last year. Yeah, something like that. It might have been eight. Did Obviously, less miles. It's nearer 100 than 111. So there you are. That was my S5 at auction. 
In hindsight, now I look back at it, I probably should have bought that for the £5,000 challenge that I had going with James of Chopped Garage. If you haven't seen that video, Toby will put it up here, but basically we were having a little competition to see who could buy the best car and make the most profit out of that. That video, the following video from that is yet to come out, so make sure you subscribe to see that. We've also got more auction content coming up at different auctions, as well as another video coming from this one. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you like the shorter versions, then let me know in the comments. If you prefer the longer ones, let me know in the comments and we will try and tailor them accordingly. And if seeing that S5 has whetted your appetite for a V8, then you're in luck because I am currently running a raffle to win my Mercedes SL500, which is a five litre V8 and sounds absolutely amazing. <laughs> Uh, you can win that potentially for just two pounds. So check out the link in the description. You've got to be in it to win it. You've got about another two or three weeks to run on that. There's not a lot of people involved yet. So get in. Your odds are pretty high. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.